Hi, good morning, child of God. How are you? Hope you are doing okay. Today I am reading from Galatians 6, verse 7. And that Bible scripture is very familiar to everyone. The Bible says, um, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, so shall he reap. Wow. So when we talk about karma, that Bible verse, Galatians 6 verse 7, link exactly with karma. A lot of people say they don't believe in karma, but I'm telling you, I believe in karma. And Galatians 6 verse 7 concludes that whatsoever a man soweth, so shall he reap. So you don't go to a farm and plant um, cassava and on the time of reaping you're going to reap um, maize. No. If you sow yam, you're going to reap yam. Whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. So we just have to be careful with this life. We have to be careful with what we do to people because today you may think that you're doing harm to someone thinking you have won that battle you have successfully caused them pain you successfully make them cry you successfully sent an innocent person to prison you successfully taken what belongs to someone else and you're smiling and rejoicing but don't forget tomorrow is pregnant <laughs> galatians 6 verse 7 Whatever you do to others, they will do it to you. There's no two ways about it. Karma will catch up with you. I'm going to share two scenarios. Best scenario is two best friends. They've been best friends for so many years. And then when the time comes for her best friend to get married after being in a relationship for three years, that a other friend thinks that it's the right time the next train, to go and tell her partner that she hasn't had a womb, that she had all sort of abortions and all of that. And after dating that guy for three years, and she went and did that, the next train, just to that ensure that that marriage doesn't fall. So she went and told her partner that she has been doing all sorts of things that are not good when she was younger, which was in uni, you know, and that she lost her womb because of, you know, abortions and all of that. And now the guy called up the wedding. And guess what? The guy called up the wedding and she is now making all effort, frantic effort to get married to that lady's fiance. Okay, so tell me, if you see a lady that behaves in such manner, taking what does not belong to you, out of jealousy and out of envy because your best friend is getting married to this guy who is very rich who is doing so well and you out of envy out of jealousy and you can do that take her man from her with straight face telling her you're not good enough for him so she said that girl's not good enough for the husband to be. So she is the one that is good enough for that man. Now I want to ask you to tell me, does such marriage last long? When such people, this is after not committing me. such offense, they come to church and increase people's prayer points. So tell me, she go and get married and then she thinks she's going to have children. And then they'll be coming to ask pastor to pray for them, for them to have the fruit of the womb. And majority of the time, pastors will not even ask them about 
what they have done in their past, in their past life, or when they were younger. The pastor would keep praying and say, you know, I've been praying, nothing happened. But not knowing that it is, they are praying for the sin they committed. There is no way you can tell what does not belong to you. I think you're going to go free. Never. It's not going to happen. And that's the same thing for those single girls out there who specialize in dating married men and think that oh they are the best they pay more they do all of that all this lifestyle of young people running after married men this is east india spoiling people's marriages and causing pains and troubles in people's relationship and separating marriages and causing the children to suffer and then you think that okay some of this irresponsible, ruthless, reckless, um, um, wrong skills as they call themselves. They so necessarily to the point that they compel the man to even divorce their wives. You know, for, say the man divorce your wife and marry him. Yes, the man will divorce his wife and marry him. But guess what? Galatians 6 and 7 is lying and waiting for people who behave in such manner. Therefore, you, if you are hearing my voice today and you are in such a situation that someone is trying to take, making frantic efforts to take what belongs to you and you have prayed, or maybe they have succeeded to cause you pain to take what belongs to you. Hear me today. Galatians 7 is the scripture. The Bible says the Bible the scriptures cannot be broken. Meaning that God Almighty will fight for you. You just hold your heart. He will fight for you. Yes. Because you have taken our bread from your mouth and put stones in your mouth and gravels in your mouth. She will not, that person will not find peace. The same thing goes to men. You who go and take your friend's girlfriend, you were supposed to be the best man of that man. He brought his wife and introduced to you his wife to me and said, This is the lady I want to settle with. And then you went behind and spoiled the name of that man and took his girlfriend. And then you think that things are going to go well with you? No. Galatians 6 verse 7. Anything that you do to people will surely be done to you. Yes, that is why we always, um, the Bible says, we should follow peace with all men. We should live well. We should do good to people. Because if you do bad, bad things will come with you. So karma is real. It's not always about it. I saw um, last week, uh, I watched a, a, some clips on YouTube. A young two young men they searching for job and one of them two best friends searching for job and one of them uh, got a contract for five million naira after all the submitting of application attending interviews and all of that but when they actually the company actually um, sent the appointment letter so his best friend picked that mail up and showed himself as the one that won that contract right. and took the job and took the five million and this guy is suffering and waiting until someone informed him that your friend is working you know so all these kind of things we need to stop we need to change because God is